Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this episode, we're gonna finally leave this area and see if this highway does us any good in the long run in terms of getting rid of some of our traffic problems. So instead of working over here, we're gonna build a second cargo hub over on the other side of the map, somewhere out here. I like the one that we have here, and I think it does very well in serving this region. I just don't think that having only one is beneficial in serving the whole map. I think this cargo hub here could serve pretty much most of the cities on this side of this river here. However, getting across this river and to any of the cities over here would just be too long and too much of a process to try to get working. Also, this area over here is very highly developed and adding new lines and new roads and stuff is beginning to get a little tricky. So I think giving it some space, just let it run as it is. We can come back and improve it if we need to, add more lines, add more trains, but I don't think this cargo hub will service anything over here. So with that, we're going to need to find a good spot for a cargo hub over here. As pretty much everything over here has been pretty neglected, all the connections between the cities are still dirt roads. We mainly just have a passenger loop for most of these cities. They're not really getting too many resources. So let's find a nice open area where you put a pretty large cargo hub in a pretty central location to service all these cities. So I think a good area for us to put one is probably right here in this little valley area, uh, sort of being surrounded by these mountains. I know the mountains don't do us any good, but our money is not an issue at this point. The main thing we care about is its location to resources. And if we look here, we have the goods factory up here, the fuel refinery, a tools factory, and construction materials, as well as a food processing plant, all very close to where we would want to build this. Now, obviously, we can bring it from other areas if we wanted to bring it from over here, from this construction materials plant in Lexington, or if we wanted to, say, make machines in Victorville and bring those all the way out here, we can explore that in the future. So first, we need to flatten out a fairly large area in here so we can get a pretty big cargo hub going. All right, so now we have our little flat area here where we can now come here, get a building, pick our cargo station. We'll make this basically as big as possible. And we can place this down right about here. I think that's a good spot. It gives us a pretty good trajectory towards most of these towns. And we also have space over here for a truck station. So let's get a street coming through here. We'll just make this a four lane road so that we can handle any sort of traffic we might come across in the future. So we'll bring it along. We'll bring it along this side of our opening just so a lot of our trains can come through this way if we have anything coming up through there. And then we'll just follow this through Trying not to get any bridges or tunnels. And then we can connect this up right to this road here. And then we can just upgrade the street that comes out there. And we should be good there. So we have our road connection. We can now begin to get the truck station going. So we'll do this how we did the other one, and we'll make sure that 
it runs pretty smoothly. So we'll line this up and we can place it down somewhere about here, which is pretty good for us. One thing I did just notice about this is that this doesn't give us any boat access, but there's not really any rivers out here anyway, so that's not really a concern for me. If we need to, we could set up a harbor down here where we could then truck or train the materials back up, but I don't think that will be much of an issue. Anyway, coming back to this, I want to put an exit there and an entrance here. And then we'll also just future proof it, add, let's say, two more platforms since we don't know what we'll have coming through here. And then we can plop down our cargo buildings. So that should hold a fairly good amount of cargo, as well as having five uh, stations there. So we can build some one-lane roads, or one-way roads, that'll come in and connect up to the main road we have. And this should just help us out for whatever future truck stops we have coming through here. Now for the airport, I'm thinking pretty soon we're going to need to upgrade this Akron Airport as small planes are slowly getting phased out. And even though this one's not really getting used by passengers, it's not terribly far away from our station here. So eventually what we can do is upgrade this to a large airport. Maybe we'll run it along this road here just so it's a little bit closer. And then we can just have a simple truck line hauling any material that the planes bring in and those will come over to here. However, now that I thought of it, let's just do it in this episode. Let's get rid of this airport. This might cause issues. Okay, so we might have to uh, wait for these planes to leave. Maybe if well, now that, that one's taken off. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait for this one to leave. Hopefully there's not another plane coming, but then once this one's gone, we can then replace it with a large airport. All right, so now all the planes are gone, we can delete that one and we can put in a large airport. Hopefully we can get it to connect to this road and we can, so we'll place that down right there like that. That sits pretty well along this road, so I really like that. And then we'll just have to adjust this line. Let's see if it automatically updates. It's not, so we're just going to get rid of this and then add this in. And then we'll just have to do the same thing with this bus stop here and we'll be good to go with this. All right, so we have our new airport and bus stop over here. We can then choose to get rid of this road here since it's not really needed. And then here we can just add a couple of cargo terminals. And this will primarily be used for cargo, so we'll wanna make sure it has enough capacity for everything we'll need. So here's our new airport. I think it'll do just fine. And all that's left to do is to set up the truck station where a lot of the random materials that come in through here will go through. So I think we'll be okay with just a pretty basic set up here, maybe a few cargo buildings just because some airplanes may bring in a larger amount than others. 
So we'll get two in there. And we'll squeeze in some of these small ones where we can. So I'm okay with this. I think it looks pretty good. And hopefully it'll be pretty useful for us. And that's pretty much going to be all that we're going to do. We have this pretty much set up so next episode, as long as we don't have any severe traffic issues over here, we can begin adding and connecting up resources. So maybe we'll think about bringing food, pro food over from this food processing plant, or maybe we'll just bring the construction materials in from here. As we already have a train station set up, we can just bring it right into this train station here. But we'll figure it out in the next episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.